is Tehachapi, California, and I'm gonna go to my favorite bakery. I don't know if this is my favorite bakery in the state of California, but it's definitely one of my favorite bakeries. <laughs> There was almost nothing left at the bakery. I was able to get just some scraps of the zucchini walnut loaf. You know what, I think I'm gonna have some right now before I even get into the video. Today we're going to London, it's cold, and... Welcome everybody. We are at where are we? Katka? We are in Winter Wonderland in High Park Hotel. We're at the Winter Wonderland Hyde Park Hotel. In Hyde Park, London, United Kingdom. And uh, I was just trying to think to myself, what can we teach? What can we teach you guys? Well, first of all, the festival's a lot of fun. Everybody's here. Take a look around. All right. Are we back? Okay. So the one thing I wanted to teach was, we came to this festival. I think we're going to have a great winter experience. And it started like it started out like a great winter experience until it started to rain, like serious rain. Wasn't it raining? It was really raining. So, the teaching point for this video is, when you're in London, even if you're at the Winter Wonderland at Hyde Park, make sure you bring your umbrella. <laughs> And what? And boots. Bring your umbrella and boots. Okay. That's good. Well, I actually, and I want to... another one. I want to make one with you. Okay, but I, I want... to talk about the... The cider. I want you to say that you tried to... For all those world travelers out there, be prepared. When you're going to a place that's going to have a lot of rain, good idea to bring an umbrella. Now, just so that you know, London only has about 150 or so days a year where there's rain. Seattle, I think, has a little bit more. As you go closer to the equator, you'll find some cities in Colombia, Singapore, um, Indonesia, any kind of city that's closer to the equator is more likely going to be in a more tropical type environment and you're going to see more rain. The rotation of the earth, the way that the earth revolves around the sun, 
all play into rain, rain patterns, which side of an island or a, a land or a, a continent is going to be more wet than the other side. In general, my observation is that the eastern side of an island on this planet is more likely to have more rain than the western side. You can look at the Hawaiian Islands, you can look at <coughs> Australia as a continent, um, many islands you'll, you'll see will follow this trend. But because I'm not a meteorologist, I don't want to get too deep into this. Let me try to find a friend of mine sometime in the near future and see if she can shed some light on this for us. Thank you.